Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable shadow copies or previous versions in Windows 11. This will also work in Windows 10. So we used to be able to turn that on uh, within Windows, but Microsoft made it so it's not so easy to configure anymore, but there still is a way to enable it. So when we had this enabled, you'd be able to right-click on a file, go to its properties, then you'd have this previous versions tab, and you'd be able to see uh, different versions of it that you'd saved and actually go back and restore or open these older versions. So if you want to enable this in Windows, you could go to the Task Scheduler by clicking on Start or Search, and then typing in Task Scheduler. And I already have this configured so I could show you how it works, but I'll show you what I did here so you could follow along and make your own here. So from the Task Scheduler library, if you click on it to highlight it, you could then right-click on it, make a new folder. If you want to put it in a new folder, I like to put it in a new folder. And then you can name it Shadow Copies or Previous Versions, whatever you want to call it. And then within there, you want to right-click and do Create Task. And then you'll have these options here, but I already have this task created, so I'm just going to edit this task, so this is the same thing. You'll see it's the same screen here. Go to the Properties. So within these sections, call it whatever you want. And then make sure this is checked here run whether users logged in or not. Make sure you're setting this up with an administrator user or you might have to change it here and add an admin user. Then for the triggers, pick your time. Let me edit this. So I just set this up for daily at noon. You could set it up for, you know, whatever you want. And then you have these options here which I didn't check but you could check these two, repeat every hour if you want to do that. So just keep in mind, you know, space issues if you're going to start making too many shadow copies here. And for actions, here's what you want to do. Here's the important part, so let me edit this. So the program is WMIC, and then you have to add argument, shadow copy, call, create, and volume equals C, colon, backslash. So this is for the C drive. If you're doing it on a different drive, you'll have to change the drive letter, of course. So I'll put this in the description so you can uh, copy and paste it there. And make sure the action is start a program. And conditions. I didn't change anything here. Uh, this power stuff was for if you're on a laptop. Settings. Just make sure these are checked. Allow tasks to be run on demand. Run as soon as possible if the schedule is missed. And if Task fails, restart every minute for three times. Of course, you could change this too if you want. And if it runs longer than three days, that's the default. You could change that and you could change this too. And then that's it for that. So once you have that configured, it should run on your schedule. Or you could actually right click on it and run on demand there too. And now that I had it running for a couple days here, I have this folder. And I'd made some changes to this document here. So now if I right-click Properties, Previous Versions, so I have the one modified yesterday and then on the 9th, so I could go to either one of these and restore it if I want, or I could open it if I want. All right, so once again, just go into Task Manager, make your new folder if you want a new folder, right-click it, create a, create a task, and then, like I said, just go through these options like I showed you, and I'll put this in the description, and then just run it and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.